Collectivism is used as a way to wrap people into conformity for the sake of a larger goal like the nation or a religion or a stamp. Japan, a society known for its collectivism, has a few sayings. The nail that sticks out gets hammered down and the shot hits the bird that pokes its head out. Clearly, Japan's ideas on collectivism was written by a serial killer, like Dexter. Wraps up body parts in saran wraps and kills birds at night, but they're a super chill philosopher during the day that builds homes for the homeless. Phrases like that are why people fear a fully collectivist society. Being something different Expressing ideas and questions means you get hammered down and shot. Bit of an overkill in my opinion, but I'd rather not get shot by a hammer. There is a possible genetic reason why Eastern cultures lean towards a more collectivist ideology, and it's connected to serotonin transportation. This is controlled by a gene that expresses itself in a long version and a short version. East Asian cultures, for the most part, have the short version of the gene, which means less serotonin transportation and less happiness and more collectivist ideals. This is called the anti-psychopathology. So, what does all that mean? It basically means that when you're part of a collective, you have less pressures and less external stresses. So less pressure from competition, economic stresses that come from adulting, less dating pressure, so Tinder is basically your parents. I mean, arranged marriage is literally Tinder with parental control. But it's all for the collective, like a family. Right? Eastern cultures don't kick their kids out and put their old people in homes. They're all under one roof. The primary objective is taking care of the family. A major value of collectivism is to take care of each other. But, as I mentioned earlier, these ideologies can work, but right now they're twisted up and polarized. By means of control, they are used against the people they're supposed to help. In my opinion, they are the failures of these ideologies. The failures of collectivism is nationalism and the corporate state. It's used as a mean to pit us against each other because we don't have the same skin color or wear the same hat or have the same bearded god. The failures of individualism is greed and the corporate state. It's used as a mean to pit us against each other because only your goals are important and you must achieve them by any means necessary. The corporate state perpetuates both these ideologies by telling you that without the right job, right salary, right car, you can't be that cool individual or part of the cool kids crew. Back to the loner lunch table with you, you rebellious fiend. Advertisements from the corporate state is where the words nerds, intellectual, bookworm were all tainted to mean awful, insidious things out to steal your freedom like a sacred jewel from a fantasy novel. 